All right, everyone, welcome back. This is This Family Life. My name is Misty, and we are starting the grocery haul videos for the month of April. So today is April the 1st. I am planning to just bring you along as I go to the stores and show you what I purchased for the month of April uh, 2024. So we are going extremely low spend for this month. Not that we need to. We're not in any sort of financial strain or anything like that. Uh, the reason we are doing this is to try to utilize ingredients that we have at home. Our pantry is completely full, our overstock pantry in the laundry room is completely full, and all of our freezers are completely full. So we are only buying what we need to, and we are utilizing what we have at home. So today, April the 1st, I had to go to CVS to pick up my daughter's new prescription, and uh, she had one changed um, from her bedtime medicine to a different medicine. And so I went to pick that up, and they printed off a $6 extra bucks, whatever CVS calls it, where you get that amount of money to spend in the store. So this is what I picked up with my $6. So I got four packages of the Betty Crocker chocolate chip muffin mix. Now my kids really enjoyed this. I just made this um, over the last weekend. They I got two of these free the last time I had extra bucks at CVS. So it paid for four of these. That's my first grocery haul for the month of April. 100% <laughs> free out of pocket for me. Uh, no out of pocket for me. And so that's the start. That's the start of April. I'm just going to throw these up in the pantry. That'll replenish. Um, I used four packets of muffin mix the other day. I made two strawberry, two chocolate chip. So these four going back in will replenish that. Not worried about that. And I will see you in the next part of the grocery haul for the month of April. Bye. All right, friends, so it is Wednesday, April the 3rd, and I've made my second grocery run of the week, this time to Aldi, and let's see if I can get this to show up here. $16.40 is what I spent. So I picked up one thing of paper plates. I know paper plates aren't a requirement. Trust me, it is one um, minor luxury that I allow myself so that we don't have to you know, have sandwiches off of plates or um, breakfast or just different different easy meals um, that aren't real saucy or anything like that. We will use paper plates occasionally. I run a lot of dishes. The dishwasher's running right now, but um, it's nice to have the paper plates every once in a while. I got two boxes of this Cavatappi pasta. I have not tried this from Aldi before, but I do like this type of pasta, so I decided just to pick them up, put them in my uh, like overstock area in my pantry, and we'll use those coming up uh, for some pasta dishes. And then lastly, as you can see I've already opened this, one box of Capri Suns. My son was completely out of Capri Suns, and so I had to open it this morning and give him one in his lunch. So that is everything I got today, and I will be back with the next grocery haul. All right, everybody, so it is April the 4th on Thursday. These are the groceries that I picked up today, and then I will probably be making one small grocery run after work tomorrow for some items that are only on sale Friday, Saturday, Sunday at Brookshire's. So this is split between Kroger and Brookshire's. So I'll tell you the Kroger items first. I got this block of Kraft mild cheese, mild cheddar cheese on clearance for $1.88. It is good until July of 2024. So plenty of time to use it. I'm not sure why they marked that down, but I will gladly take it. I got one package of these jalapeno smoked sausages. I thought my husband and I would really enjoy to grill those up and have them on hot dog buns. Sorry. I got two packages of these Herde's carnitas. We've never had these before, and they're $9.99 a package normally, and I got both for $3.44 a piece, so not bad there. I got one gallon of milk. This was not on sale this week, but it was $2.89, so we needed milk. I got three of the Silk Almond chocolate milks for my daughter, um, just trying to make some healthier choices in our house. And so these were on sale for $1.49 a piece, as long as you bought three, <coughs> excuse me, of the items that were on sale this week. And then for my son and Amber, if she would like some, the Zero Sugar Kool-Aid Jammers. 
are always a good option um, to pack in lunches and they were on sale this week for two dollars and fifty cents a piece so that's everything i got at kroger and my total there was thirty dollars and eighty five cents then i went over to brookshire's just to see if they had any clearance markdown deals and because I can't get this old El Paso Spanish rice very many places, but this is my favorite. And so I wanted to go ahead and grab some of this while I was thinking about it because I always forget it when I'm at the stores that have it. So I got three boxes of that to put in my stock up area. There's Mr. Flapjack. Flapjack! Hello! Hello, Flappy! <laughs> and then I picked up this one package of, it is uh, one and a fourth pounds. It's got smoked ham, cotto salami, and bologna in it, and it was on markdown from $9.49 to $5.69 for that one. So that's all I got at Brookshire's. My total there was $14.06. So we will add that to our weekly totals for groceries for this week, and we will uh, be back tomorrow to show you what we got then. All right, guys, so this weekend with all of the um, hecticness of going to the hospital and everything, I did not get the dinner video filmed or the grocery video film. So I'm gonna try to catch you up on groceries. The only things we got at Target, I got one loaf of white bread for this week. I got two packages of buns, one packages, pa one packages, two packages of hot dogs buns. And so these were all a dollar 19 a piece and these were a dollar 39. So bread, buns, um, I got one gallon of milk. It was $2 and 19 cents. And then I got one thing of coffee creamer that was $4.69. So that is everything else that I picked up for the week. So I'm gonna get this grocery video put together. I'm gonna get it out for you guys. <clears throat> and then we'll start week two of April. So I hope you've enjoyed getting to see what all we bought this week for groceries. Again, we are trying to buy as little as possible and use up almost all of the things that we have at home. So you're gonna see most of my hauls coming up are gonna be like this, where it's just coffee creamer if I need it, it's just bread if we need it, it's just milk if we need it. So that's kind of how it's gonna go for a little while and that's okay. So that is it for this week and I will see you next week and we'll see what groceries we pick up then. So have a good day, bye. All right, everyone, I just wanted to wrap up this week's grocery haul video for you. So what did we spend for week one of low spin, no spin grocery hauls, we actually ended up spending more than I thought we did. We spent $74.34 total for everything for this week. Now, there were some things that added up in that that I had not planned to buy. Um, I was able to stock up on the Capri Suns for the kids' lunches, which is good. We needed those. Uh, there were some meat deals that I picked up and stuck in the freezer, which is always good because it does save you so much money down the road. So, I'm not entirely worried there. Um, I was also able to, um, we cooked out twice. So all of those buns actually ended up making a couple of meals for us. So there were some expenses that I hadn't planned, but it's okay. $74.34 for week one. Am working through the things that we have and, and that's good. And so there has definitely been a difference there so far. So again, you know, it's more than I had thought that we had spent. So um, trying to keep it as low to no spend as possible. And I know $74 isn't a lot for a family of four for groceries for a week, but I would have liked to have seen it even lower than that. And I know this week's is probably not going to be any lower because there's some really good meat prices this week at HEB. And if I've learned anything, um, it's to stock up when the prices are good because they are, they just keep going higher and higher and they're not going down in my area at all. And so I do want to take advantage of that while I can. And so it helps keep the cost lower over time. I don't want to miss out on all the good sales and then be out of things and have to pay the really high prices. So I'm, I'm learning to balance. I'm learning to walk a fine line on when to spend that additional money and when to save it. And so we're getting there. But again, so we'll just call it $75 for the week. I'm, I'm not terribly upset with that. I would just like to do a little better than that. So we'll see, see how it how it goes for the rest of this month. Um, I do know that next month is going to be higher um, because we are going to be doing the Sam's Club Costco run next month, but um, that's okay. That was already planned and my mom and I only go once every couple of months. So 
that'll be okay too. But anyways, that's all I've got for this week. I hope you enjoyed the grocery haul videos and we'll see you next week. Uh, and we'll show you everything we're purchasing then. So see you then. Bye.